Japan has committed to provide $4 billion for the construction of the Mega Manila subway system. The planned subway is seen to help ease traffic congestion in Metro Manila and provide an alternative mode of transportation to commuters. Basis Conversion and Development Authority President and CEO Vince Dison said President Rodrigo Duterte and Japan Prime Minister Shinzo Abe are set to sign a loan agreement for the project in time for the assessment and East Asia Summit in November. The first phase of the 25-kilometer subway project will traverse from Quezon City to Taguig and is expected to reduce travel time by 31 minutes and accommodate 370,000 passengers annually. Today we are gathered here in Oop, in Enthusiasm, because uh, we are inaugurating the opening and the extension of LRT1, the opening of a rail service station from Redemptoris up to Bacoor, New York. Ito ho ang isang ehersisyo na ginagawa natin ngayon na kung saan nagpibigay ng kabuhayan sa dalawang katotohanan na pinanindigan at binibigyan buhay ng ating Pangulong Presidente Rodrigo Duterte. Ano ho ito? Yung tinatawag na mobility and connectivity are the platforms upon which you can be assured of development in growth in any nation, in any community, in any barangay for that matter. The realization of this project establishes that connectivity, it establishes that connectivity. Ito po ang nagbibigay patunay, sabi ng ating Pangulo, gusto ko lahat ng proyektong tama um, na naumpisan tapusin. Gusto ko lahat ng proyekto na benepisyo sa ating mga kababayan sa komunidad, umpisahan at tapusin. This is how excited is everyone about the liberation. You say, can you give clearance to the and the CEO of RAPP Dev for the time capsule? As a background, the Cavite extension will connect the present endpoint in Baclaran to Bacoor, Cavite, with eight new stations, namely Ashana, Mia, Asia World, Ninoy Aquino, and Dr. Santos stations in Paranaque City, Las Piñas and Zapote stations in Las Piñas City, and New York station in Bacoor. Okay.
So where the time capsule is, the LRMC management committee for a photo of the children. We have the LRC man come ready. Wig and Aston. The French invasion. Ano, members of the cabinet, the economic cluster and the infrastructure cluster, business leaders, our friends from the international and the domestic media, magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. The main program of the Duterte administration is to grow the economy, reduce poverty, and solve congestion in the Philippines. This is to build build and build. Build, build, build is the most ambitious infrastructure program in Philippine history driven by President Rodrigo Roa Duterte. We welcome our guests, our development partners, our foreign and local media partners, as well as we all witness together the golden age of infrastructure in the Philippines as it happens now. This is why I am very excited to open the session on Build, Build, Build. We want to show the whole world how serious the Philippine government is in pursuing game-changing projects that will build a whole new experience for every Filipino, for every tourist. With us today are key representatives of the Philippine Economic Team and heads of agencies that form part of the Build, Build, Build team. Before I give them the floor, please allow us to show you what to expect from Build, Build, Build. All the best masterpieces start from one line, and the single line begins with a dot. Here in the Philippines, finding and connecting the dots that may lead to our masterpiece already seems a tough task. Too many needs, and they all seem too big to fill. But will we let any of these stop us? The good news is, the government does not stop at anything. This is why DPWH, DBM, DOF, NEDA, DOTR, and BCDA are all working together for the first time in history. Six agencies committed to deliver the boldest and most ambitious infrastructure development ever. Six agencies ushering in the golden age of infrastructure, which we call Build, Build, Build. This is the vision that will help us achieve our goals. And today, we put this vision into action. With the LX SLX connector, you can go from Alabang to Balintawak in only 30 minutes. No need to pass through Eds anymore, so you can use your time for more important things. NLX will also get an all-elevated expressway in Harbor Link, providing a 10-minute access from Mindanao Avenue to Commonwealth Avenue. We are also building a tide embankment project in Leyte, Visayas, which will protect communities in coastal areas against destructive storm surges. No successful country is without an efficient public transport system. So we are extending our trains with PNR North that goes to Clark and PNR South, which will connect Manila to Los Baños. 
explore Davao, Surigao, and Cagayan de Oro without the hassle via the Mindanao Railway. The upcoming Mega Manila subway will also help decongest the roads. For phase one, we are connecting Quezon City and Taguig, with more still coming down the road. With the BGC to Naia bus rapid transit system, you can go from Fort Bonifacio to Naia in only 20 minutes. We are also expanding the Clark International Airport with new first-class facilities. And the smartest and greenest city in the Philippines is also rising in Clark, which we call the New Clark City, a world-class urban development that will solve Metro Manila's congestion problems. These are but a few of the projects that will blaze a new trail for us, with more coming in the next months and few years. Build for progress, because change only starts through action. Build for tomorrow, because our children deserve a better Philippines. Build with us, and be a guardian of transparency.